Hey guys, it's Amaka. I'm going to ask that you bear with me because I look a little rough. But I'm going to be holding my phone while I read my book because I wrote my book on my tablet. And I don't have a title for it, so I'm just going to read the chapter names that I picked out for it. Chapter 1, The Bucket List. Tick, tock, tick, tock. As I sit and watch, waiting for the bell to ring to tell me that it was lunchtime, I couldn't help but to wonder what I would be doing when it was summer. School ends today and I have yet to decide what I wanted to do to make the summer the bestest, most fantastic summer ever. Ring, just like that, the bell for lunch rings, ripping me away from my thoughts. All right, class, remember, summer break is tomorrow, so finish school strong for a fun summer uh, summer this year, Mr. Cook spoke, before we all exited his class. His last sentence is the only thing I understood from that sentence. I quickly made my way to the cafeteria after grabbing an apple. I headed to the corner where me and the girls liked to sit. I quickly pulled out a notebook and a pen and wrote the words bucket list on the top. Boo! One of my friends, Justina, screamed. It caused me to streak out in fear, earning a few looks from people that were around us. After catching my breath from the fright I just had, I, just had, I spoke. Jeez, Justina, where to draw attention our way? It's not my fault you scare easily, Anais. If you would just not be scared, then maybe we wouldn't have people looking at us now, would we? She stated as she took my apple and bit into it. I rolled my eyes with a small smile on my face. That girl is always eating somebody else's lunch. Hey guys, Noelle spoke, coming from the lunch line and sitting right next to Justina. See, quiet and peaceful. Take notes, Justina. Hey, Noelle. I spoke out as I called out Justina for not being able to greet people peacefully. Yeah, yeah, whatever, what is that? Justina asked, her curious eyes placed on my notebook. I looked down to see she was looking at my bucket list notebook, and I smiled. This right here is our one-way ticket to the bestest, fantastic summer we will ever experience. Oh, God, Noelle spoke while chewing on her cookie. Continue, this is starting to sound interesting, Justina spoke as she looked at my notebook with interest. I think it would be a fun idea to create a bucket list of ideas to do this summer. We could all each add things to do. That way we will have the bestest, fantastic summer ever. I finished while pulling out two pens to hand to them. I like the way you think, Anais. Justina smirked as she grabbed my notebook and wrote something down. Grab the notebook afterwards to see what she wrote. My eyes lit up after I saw it. You want to spend the night in the community library? I asked, holding a playful tone to my voice. As I said that, Noelle spit out her milk. That caught people's attention. I shrunk in my seat and hid behind my notebook. You want to do what? Noelle whispered as she snatched my notebook out of my hands. Her eyes skimmed the notebook before she finally spoke again. No. Me and Justina frowned at our a really reasonable friend. Noelle, we only live once. And besides, after the school year, we enter high school and we're going to have to be all serious and stuff. I spoke out trying to convince her that we should spend the night at the library. After a while, convincing Noelle smiled before finally speaking. Fine, she said, causing Justina and I to do a mini rejoice dance in our seats. We began to fill in the rest of the list with crazy and wacky ideas to do while on summer break. We finally finished just as the lunch bell rung to tell us lunch was over. We, got, we all got up from our seats, each taking away a copy of the bucket list. As we continued walking, we all split to get, to get out to our last class before summer break. I couldn't help the smile that was sitting on my face as I entered my class. I just know this is bound to be the bestest, most fantastic summer ever. Chapter 2. Back in Time Ring! The sound of my alarm clock sounded, taking me out of my sweet sleep. I, grew, I quickly threw my alarm clock on the floor and turned the other way, pulling my blanket closer to me. Just when I was about to fall asleep, I was bothered by two annoying girls. Wake up, both Justina and Noel yelled at the same time. Who let you in? Oh, God. I groaned as I shoved my head under my pillow. I did. Now wake up. You can't just spend the day sleeping. My mom walks in and takes the blanket off my body while laughing. Fine. Wait here while I get ready. I lazily got off my bed and grabbed some clothes and walked into the closet to change. After I finished, I came out and saw that my friends were no longer in my room waiting for me. I smelled what smelled like French toast. I assumed they were downstairs and I made my way down. There you are, sleeping beauty. Grab a plate, come eat, my mom said as she dished out food for me and my friends to eat. Thanks, mother. I smiled and grabbed a plate and sat down on the table with the rest of my friends to eat. We all looked at each other knowing exactly what we had planned today. 
I felt sneaky, but in a good way. I mean, it's not every day you get to spend a night in a library. So, Mom, is it okay if I spend a night at Noel's? It's summer and there isn't anything to do. I gave her my best puppy dog eyes with Justina and Noel besides me looking at her pleadingly. A smile broke out on her face and I knew we won. Fine, she said, but please be safe and no doing anything that can get you in trouble, she scolded. I put on an innocent smile before nodding my head. I can't believe that worked. I thought for sure she was going to say no, I giggled as I did a happy skip down the sidewalk. What are we going to do to kill time? Justina asked with a confused look on her face. We could watch a movie. The library closes at 8 p.m. And if we could watch a two-hour movie, we will be done by 7 and we can be at the library at 7.30 to find a hiding spot, I suggested. The girls and I finally agreed to watching a movie. We decided on watching The Nutcracker. Throughout the entire movie, we kept getting shushed for laughing too loudly and making funny comments. At, the, at a point, Justina had accidentally turned on her flashlight during the movie, causing a few people around us to glare. I still can't believe you accidentally turned on your flashlight, Noelle wheezed as we exited the movie theater. Noelle and I could not stop laughing at Justina, causing a smile to break out on her face. I mean, how did that even happen? I continued while opening the door to the library for them. I wanted to record us. I didn't know the flash was still on, Justina whispered as we all walked into the library. We all found out to look for an area to hide in, so nobody would find us during the closing of the library. After looking for what felt like forever, Justina had finally caught us into the corner. It was a little door hidden behind a bookshelf. We quickly, we quickly moved the bookshelf to the side and hid behind the door. I expected it to be dirty, but to my surprise, it was cleaned. Almost too clean. I thought it was I thought it would be at least a little bit dirty, I said as I looked around the dark area with my phone light. Hey man, I am not complaining, Noelle whispered as she took a seat on the ground and set an alarm for 9 p.m. Okay, just in case someone falls asleep, we have the alarm to wake us up an hour after closing in case anyone is still around at 8. Noelle said as she leaned against the wall. I then sat down and got comfortable as well. After what felt like centuries of just sitting around and wait awaiting, I began to feel almost dizzy in a way. I sat up and it almost made it worse. It felt as if the room was spinning. Hey, do you guys feel dizzy? I asked as I held my head. Yeah, they both responded, but before I could suggest we just leave, everything went pitch black and just like that, we were all in a deep slumber. As I struggled to open my eyes, I couldn't help but to feel disappointed that we couldn't stay awake to venture the library like we had planned to. I then heard shuffling behind me, and I, I turned around to see Noelle and Justina with the same disappointed look on their face. Well, that was a bust, Justina said as she stood up. Agree. Let's just go home before someone catches on to us being in here, I said. Well, with, And with that, we all got up and silently left the room. We looked around to make sure nobody could see us, but I couldn't help but to notice that everything in the library looked completely different from last night. Is it just me, or does everything look different, Noelle spoke, saying exactly what I was thinking. No, it definitely looks different. Come on, I said, and we all made our way out of the library. Immediately after walking out, our jaws dropped. Everything looked different. It was just, it wasn't just the library. There were people rolling around on roller skates and everyone's outfit looked different and weird. Everyone was either wearing baggy colorful sweats or weird printed spandex and leggings. Totally yuck. What even are their clothes? Okay, I don't think I've ever been more confused in my life, I said as I watched people skate around and giggle. Same, both Noel and Justus, Justina spoke, staring in the uh, confusion. Okay, let's go back to Anaisa's house, Justina said as she started walking in that direction. We followed her and began to make our way to my house. As soon as we arrived, our jaws dropped again. This house was different. It was way funkier looking as opposed to the regular all white on the outside and black and white on the inside. My mother liked modern colors. I was super confused to see the house was yellow on the outside. Bro, what's wrong with your house? Justina asked as all three of us stared at my house in confusion. Just then, the doorknob jiggled as someone was trying to open it. In fear, we all jumped into the bush to hide.